logistics is very tough, especially thinking about Nigeria, bad road networks, uh, constant government road policies that are changing. Um, a lot of things that are affecting your business on daily day to day, drivers, you know, that sometimes behave crazy. Um, so for us, we have over 1,000 drivers, and we have our, you know, our fleet team, our operations team that constantly manages these drivers on daily basis. My head of, I mean, my uh, fleet manager for Lagos is a woman, <laughs> right? And she deals with these drivers directly, right? Um, I have women across the business. I have women in our, on our operations team. Um, I have women in our tech team, right? In our product and our technology team. Some of our engineers are women. So I'm very big on women, you know, uh, you know, within, we have women within our own ecosystem. Our 40% of our, of our employees are created like in Nigeria and Kenya women. Um, so I think as employers, we have to intentionally also make it a thing or an agenda where we intentionally infuse women to the system. Um, but we also have partners that own assets on our platform. There are women. I have a woman that drives, that drives a van on our platform, right? And, you know, so we've seen women coming on board again because it's such a rough business. Even with technology, it's still a rough business in the back. That's why women stay away from it. And sometimes, you know, also, you have to know how to navigate it. As a driver, you know, even as a operations person, how do you navigate the craziness that happens on the road? How do you always ensure that goods are being delivered? How do you track a lot of things? Too? So I think that's why women stay away from it. But I think as employers, we have to intentionally start grooming um, more women to let them know that look, this is not as, as bad as it looks, but um, it's not for everybody. Right? It's just for everybody. So that's why I probably see more men here because it's a very brutal business and um, it's also very intensive. So that's why you probably see more. But we are doing on our own part. I have friends that are female that actually own logistic companies. Right. But so it, it would it wouldn't change overnight, but I think it's just the sector as well. The government should just make uh, friendly policies for us. Right. Like I mentioned, you know, towards the end of last year we had so much volumes that we don't even have to pay basis. We overwhelmed orders. And policies this year just crumbled a lot of our customers. Right. Um, and the truth is, the cost that we are getting, we can't directly push it to our customers because they can't also absorb it. We can't say because fuel has gone 3x, we also want to increase the cost of fuel just by 3x. Customers cannot take it. Right. So we are having to do a lot of work to support our customers even to ensure that they are still supporting their business. So I think what the government needs to do is look at, if you want the economy to grow, right, small businesses are the ones that are going to grow. Commerce is what's going to really grow the economy. How do you create friendly policies to ensure that these businesses can grow? Because if they are not growing, we can grow. Right? So I think that's the only thing the business. We can't say that we are trying to grow the economy, we are good asking investors outside to come in, but we are crippling the businesses that exist in Nigeria. And we are asking more people to come in. Because we, are, we know our manufacturers are closing. GSK closing, a lot of people are closing because it doesn't make sense anymore. And these are people that we're supposed to be serving. So that's where you know the issue comes in. bigger mistake people make is that they believe that by the time Lassima give them a fine, they are supposed to settle Lassima. Are you getting it now? They, they don't need to settle Lassima. Once you know it, fine and the offense is just going to pay. Then the, another mistake people also make is that Lassima give big, uh, settlement to their bosses in the office. And I, as I've said in several forums that if you have issues again last month, maybe against their behavior or against SSCs, go to the office and go to the complaint. It will be taken care of. It will be visited. Rather than, mm, you don't have time, oh yeah, take, take, take. By the time you are giving money to last man, it will make them to be doing that same thing to other road users again. But if you have a complaint and you really love the complaint, it will give us a benefit to be, to be able to really hunt and get the bad eggs and fish them out of the system. That by making the whole system and the transport system for Lagos and for Trinidad to be a, a, an elderly one.